right, so in a lot of combat sports, wrestling, um, even jiu-jitsu, judo, uh, most people focus on the underhook. Um, the opposite of the underhook is the overhook. Because if my opponent has an underhook, right, there's a lot of things we can do from the underhook, but there's an equal amount of things we can do from the overhook. So it's not hard to try to get into the overhook. Right, so when I wrestled beach wrestling at the national championship last year, I was standing mostly up, right? And I know that if I stand up and I'm reaching like this, the person is going to try to underhook. Yeah, right, if they try to grab my leg, that's fine too. But the person is going to reach for the underhook because this person has been taught their whole life, underhook is the power position. Not necessarily, it's just whoever's better in the position that they have. Right, so this person could not be that good in an underhook and still get it. I'm great from an overhook, so I have the advantage. So depending how good you're in a position, it dictates what the advantage is. So it's not easy, it's not hard to get into an overhook. You just have to reach and bait the opponent into taking for an underhook, right? Because this is a good wrestling position. So there's a lot of things we could do from here. Again, I can get out of the overhook, but if I'm looking to get into it, I don't really need to teach you the exit how to get out. Just get into the overhook and wrestle from this. There's not many positions we could get into other than this, right? Mostly you just clear the position and you're facing each other, right? You punch, right? If you, if, if you feel like you can't do much with the overhook and you want to get out, remember, punch the chest, hand up, turn. Elbow up over the shoulder and circle out. So easy in, easy out, um, but there's a lot of things you could do with the overhook, and we'll go over that next.